It's Jesse with Black Business Live, and I'm here with the founder and executive director of Support Black Charities. Tell us about how the night went and what, how, or how all of this came about, how this was organized, the event that happened um, this evening. Well, the turnout was great, um, and for us, it was about uh, it was about the next step. The next step is to have an event, get people here, mm -hmm. introduce ourselves again. Um, and I think it went well. I was running around everywhere. Yes. But um, a good things, people networking together or people on learning about new organizations. Um, and that was the goal. Um, and I said it, the team of the night was Wakanda. And it's to be able to reproduce that environment of togetherness and imagine what it would be like if everybody was supporting each other. So I think that's what we saw a little bit tonight. Yeah, and what did you want everyone to take away from um, coming here this evening and seeing the organization and what you do? I'd like for people to understand that um, within the, our community, yes. uh, the corporation, collaboration, it works. Uh, we just ha have to find the alignment, and when it does, we can go so far together. But it's really, there's different ways to support organizations. Uh, obviously, donations are one thing, but volunteering, there was a mm -hmm. lot of volunteers here tonight, and the event would not have been possible without them. And uh, even sharing on social media. Uh, you bring attention to an organization when you like a post and when you reshare something. So it's just to let people know that there's so much organization that could benefit from their support in different ways. So for anyone who doesn't know about Support Black Charities and what you do, tell us about um, what is it that you do and Support Black Charities um, and I guess how people can get involved in the community. Right, so Support Black Charities uh, started as a directory of black serving organizations, black led, black focus, mostly charities and nonprofit. And we've evolved now where we now provide different types of services for organizations. So we, anything from governance, fundraising, uh, impact measurement, media services, event management, um, anything that can help an organization be sustainable. I think we've moved on to just a directory because people wanted more. They had a need and we saw an opportunity to be able to provide that need. And um, if somebody comes to us with something, we'll just create, the, we'll find a way to give it to the people. So it's really um, a way to help organizations become sustainable. We want to see those organizations be there for a long time and anything we can do to support them. Well, it was a very amazing event this evening, very memorable as well. Um, what would you say was your favorite part or most memorable part of t uh, tonight's festivities? Um, did a giveaway where I asked questions to the audience. Mm -hmm. It was at a, a little game about how well do you know SBC and I was surprised. Yeah. I was surprised that people <laughs> knew. Some weird answers there but uh, for the most part I was surprised that people understood what SBC was but it's also to see the connections that happen in the room uh, from people that had ideas about non-profit and obviously came to me and asked me a question about it so that's that's what it's about and I want to be able to help people that way. And we're here at Tropicana Community Center. Why have the event here? Uh, we were looking for a place that was black owned. Yeah. Uh, didn't find, this was the, the one that came in Tropicana is, so um, Tropicana is a staple in the community and we wanted to be able to do something with them. We had done little things before, but now it was so important to be able to put this one together. They had an event space, uh, they're black owned, they're known in the community. Why not uh, go together and do something together? So Absolutely. that's how that came about. And you decided to have the event during Black History Month? Yes. yes. Um, there's so much attention yeah. during Black History Month. It means a little bit more. A lot of people do events. Mm -hmm. um, like today, a lot of other people had events today. Yeah. But uh, I think it, it helps the narrative uh, to bring attention to our event. So this is probably something we're going to do every year as well. Wow, that would be amazing. And um, what does Black History Month mean to you? Um, it means different things. It has evolved over the years. Uh, right now, it means busy month <laughs> of different events and things. But for me, I've always liked to understand the history of where we come from, Caribbean or Africa, but it's it's every year you, you discover some a new black person that has done something, like mm -hmm. the toaster. I learned that this year. <laughs> that the toaster was invented by a black person. I didn't know that. Um, so I'm always interested to understand how history can shape the future. Uh, and I'm, I always look for these types of stories. 
And what is next for Support Black Charities? What can we look out for after Black History Month and, you know, in the coming months? So there's Black History Month, but there's also Black Philanthropy Month. And not as well known, but we're trying to put it on the map. Black Philanthropy Month is in August. So look out for us in August. We're already started. I was talking to some of the people in the team. We're already starting thinking about Black Philanthropy Month. We're going to do... With the, with the time that we have now, we're probably going to do something a little bit bigger. But this is our month. This is why we exist. We want to promote black philanthropy. So that's the next month that we're going to probably do something big as well. And I'm sure that uh, Support, black, uh, Support Black Charities it was built on community and getting more people involved. If people want to get more involved with the organization, how can they do that? So. Absolutely, on our website we have a, a volunteers page now. Um, different ways, obviously events is one of the ways where people can come and volunteer, but we have different types of volunteer like project management for our website, we have interns as well. Anything that you can think of, PR management, um, the website, uh, data entry. So it's those types of volunteer that we are also looking for uh, to help us do some research uh, because we're worldwide. So. Uh, people can look out for these positions being uh, listed on our website. And what did you want everyone to take away from this evening after you know they go home? What is it that you would like them to remember most? Hmm. Um, for me, it's just the collaboration. If you saw the the backdrop over there, where it shows all the organizations that are around the uh, the logo, it took all these organizations to make this event. And, uh, and they're all for-profit. So for-profit and non-profit can work together. We just have to find the right alignment. And when we find that right alignment, we have a good black ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So I want people to understand that we can work together and when we do support each other, it just helps the black ecosystem as a whole yes and helps everybody we are powerful together well thank you for putting on this event and we look forward to more events and attending them as well great thank you for coming <laughs> yes yeah. absolutely